Okay, hey guys, and welcome to the podcast. Today, first time with a guest on my show, and it's probably the most underrated person I know in my life. It's the one and only Alexander Bergman. So, hello guys. Hi. Do you do you want to tell the audience who you are? Yeah, um, I'm part of the skate club in Bamberg, Bamberger Skate Freunde, where uh, Patrick Bonde is the skate club president, and um, yeah. I'm actually from Schweinfurt, which is a industrial city, really boring, but many skate spots. But even so, I don't st skate street style, only flatland, so I'm very two-dimensional. Um, and I've been skating for 15 years now, so I know a lot of weird flatland freestyle tricks. Yeah, so <laughs> Alex is by far the best freestyle skater I know. I know freestyle is not something you see very often. And that's why I think it's even cooler that someone nowadays tries to skate freestyle and he's, he's really good at it. And he is probably 100% the opposite uh, of me if it comes to documenting, filming, <laughs> because he has a, a different approach to the whole thing. And he is like having, we, we are always having like discussions about the topic. And today we're going to talk about something that has to do with it and our question is does like do skate videos watching skateboard videos um, destroy the creativity of skaters so you have you have a different opinion than i do i think yes. I, I don't want to like put things out there but what what do you think what is your impression about uh, well the short answer would be for my side both because yes and both no and um, that's why <clears throat> I think it's really counterproductive to look at skateboard videos and then think okay only this is possible and this is the way I should skate now because uh, of course I look up to the guys I look up to uh, Tony Hawk and so on and then I think, okay, that's what I want to skate and not think about what is actually my side. What kind of tricks would I like to skate? So you think watching videos from pro skaters, people you admire, influence you or um, only tell you, okay, you can only do these tricks because my idol or those good skaters only do these tricks, so I want to do the same. Yeah. So you're limiting yourself to whatever is possible or whatever to you're... Yeah, to my idol. To your idols yeah. do. I think that is a solid point. I think that that is for a lot of people true. Mm. And also, there's like, I think who said it? it was, was it Rodney Moon who, who is, um, well, that's a different topic. We'll come to that later, what I'm going to talk mm. about Rodney Moon. But yes, I, I do agree. I think a lot of people, that's why you, if you look in skateboarding, Nowadays, you see people do the same tricks all the time. For example, tray flip is a very popular popular trick. Everybody does tray flips. Then, all well, hard flips. I think they're not that popular anymore as they were like one or two years ago. But everybody does hard flips. And what is in right now? Impossible is all of a sudden. Imp uh, yeah. imp all the impossible is like very popular because everybody's doing them right now. So I think I do think there is a real true aspect that. Um, only watching uh, watching skate videos is killing the creativity in skateboarding. Yeah, definitely. And um, you also stated in your last video, I believe, about the skate spots, your favorite skate spot, that um, you don't really like Magpa in Barcelona. And I really have to say, there is something about it, because when you skate there, every guy, he does the textbook flip. Like tray flip, it's like knee high, perfect catch, bolts, everything, no tic tac or something like this. And then um, after skating a day or two days, one realizes it. They only do the normal trick tree, like kick flip, hard flip, variable flip, tray flip, and maybe some guys know um, shifty ollie and maybe impossible. But otherwise, there is no creativity, no real creativity. Of course, there are some guys who stand out, but. So a lot of you guys might disagree that you're saying like, oh, well, they don't do the, the basic tricks. They also do uh, like 180 flips or ghetto birds or like even crazier flips, like double flips and stuff. 
But if I, if we're talking about creativity, and uh, you, you should start really watching, for example, freestyle skaters or things he does. That's a completely different um, area, or like a yeah. completely different league of tricks. And yes. especially in freestyle, it's really creative. And I have to say, you kind of have, it's kind of true what you're saying. It, I, th I think a lot of kids just watch these popular videos and do what they see in the video. Also, uh, who, who say that? Is it Keenan Milton? No. Killian Martin? Killian Martin. Killian yes. Martin. That was also his, that is, he, he's, I think he doesn't watch skate videos at all. Yeah. Which is maybe an explanation why he invented so many tricks yeah. and combined freestyle and street skating. I mean, of course, there were some guys before him, before that, um, who did it also, but not like Kilian Martin does. Mm -hmm. So we're now we're pretty much bashing on skate videos and here yeah. I am <laughs> producing skate videos in, in a big scale. And I <laughs> also consuming skate videos all the time. And I think he's lying if he's saying he's not cons consuming skate videos. He's definitely watching my stuff now and then. But I I still have I still think on the flip side, <clears throat> for a lot of people watching skateboard videos at least motivates you to actually skate. And if you a lot of people don't have the the, the creativity in in them themselves and they watch something and see something and then they try to make their own thing out of it from that point uh, have a different kind of creativity yes it is true definitely um sadly i don't really watch real skateboard movies that uh, often anymore like full length one hour or half an hour and just look at like small youtube clips and social media instagram which is uh, sad because well, I want to speak about it later because that has also some disadvantages. So you're but talking about the small attention span of people. They yeah. only want to see really short clips. Yeah, I think Instagram is really terrible for us because um, we see so many crazy inventions. What was that? Like uh, uh, one year ago, I saw something posted. Hang 10 nose 360 shove it, late flip into the... So it was like a tray flip. Hang ten pop. I've never seen someone uh, do that. And then of course, so it's... a hang ten is if you're doing a nose manual with yeah. both your feet looking straight on your nose. Yeah. And I never knew it's possible to pop like this high out of a hang ten manual. So um, of course now I saw it. Um, it's not impossible, but at the same time, so many clips every day, and I don't really think about what I would like to do because it's just too much information. I don't really think about my style anymore. It's just over information and no thinking anymore. It's so just, you're overwhelmed with yeah. the, the content and the input, input you get on skateboarding. Yeah. And nowadays, if I think I invented a new trick in my head at least, then I think uh, the second thought is mm, probably someone is uh, on Instagram is posting it right you now. You want to hear a funny story about that? about inventing a trick. I, the, the first era of me skating from <clears throat> 12 till 20, I was pretty sure that I invented a skate trick. Okay. I never talked about that. It was, uh, and now it turns out that it was just some weird pressure flip. But, but back then <laughs> we didn't have social media. We had those videos that came out and I just knew the guy skating in my surrounding and nobody ever close he did something like that I was I was standing switch on the board and I was flipping the I put my back foot somewhere like kind of hanging off from the tail to the side and I was doing a switch front side 180 heel foot pressure flip oh cool yes and it was a uh, back then my trucks were really tight so that was an easy right. trick and i got that pretty safe and everybody thought i invented it and <laughs> I, I for myself did that too and that that's a that's coming back to a good point back then we didn't have so much clips so much video input so much skate videos and we just like try things out probably a little bit more Right. Now, I, I don't even have the urge to invent something because I'm pretty sure somebody already did it and documented it. Yeah. 
I think it's really important the fact the the fact that you invented it on your own. I mean, of course, it was already invented probably, but you thought of you uh, on your own about it, and yes. that's really important. Yeah. And uh, that's what I just meant uh, with um, over information, just mm -hmm. over flooded with uh, new tricks, new tricks instead of just thinking, okay, what is possible? And um, I know I <clears throat> maybe you've seen in some of uh, Patrick's clips that I like kickback uh, combinations, like kickback flips, where you uh, kick the board back and then, yeah, so you turn it over and then kicking it back with your toes and then you can do like all crazy stuff, tray flips and variable flips and so on. And one punk, like several years ago, um, a punk rock guy, he told me, he called it Schnifty Schnufti. <laughs> it was a kickback, shove it. And then I thought, wow, why didn't I think of that? And now I like in, yeah, inventing uh, big spin flips and stuff like this, which is really cool. Yeah, but then this, um, I think in uh, 20 years ago or so, you just had like two videos uh, coming out e um, each year. And I think we were all narrow-minded and now we are definitely open-minded and thinking of hanged hand 360 pop shots, it's yes, like I, crazy. I, I just had a conversation today with a, with a guy in the skate park who is also very old and from that, he also said the same thing, the 90s were very like, like this yeah. and not very open-minded to anything that is not the norm. Yeah. And I think, especially social media, open this door to new possibilities all of a sudden girls have a platform to post their skate clips back then you only had one company one skate company and they allowed maximum one girl if you even had a skate company most skate companies thought girls shouldn't be uh they mm -hmm. can't sell girls girls as pro skaters so there were only were two or three back then now you get all those different kinds of skating also freestyle skating or so many different half pipe verse skating that's all because of social media in my opinion which also kind of uh, reinforces the whole creativity because you have yeah. so many diverse things by documenting the same things on social media so i in my opinion there is no uh, yeah. there's there, like pros and cons i think you have to just be able to have a healthy relationship with social media Yes. Maybe with your habit of consuming them. And sometimes just just don't try to do you have to sometimes you have to force yourself to be creative. And I, I don't I'm not sure if, if social media now we're talking about social media, we're, we're talking about videos in general, but I don't think that videos in general kill your creativity if you go about it the right way. Yeah. I think this um, balance is shown best by two quotes and the one is from Nelson Mandela who said everything seems impossible until someone does it and that's the pro side of videos and then uh, one from the godfather of skating uh, Rodney Mullen, Mullen? Yeah. Mullen. yeah that's what I want to <laughs> and uh, he said um, it imposes or watching something done every day it imposes this kind of um, no yeah norm what is the norm what is possible and then he also said it's um there always seems to be something seems to be impossible because um yeah it must be impossible because it cannot be proven and then he said um the takeaway is that there are things that cannot be proven but they are possible and they are real and um yeah i think that's the pro side and the, yeah the downside I think those are two awesome quotes. I 100% I agree with that. And if Rodney Mullen says it, man. <laughs> yeah, it must be true, yeah. Must be true. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to wrap it up. I think yeah. I had a nice talk about the whole topic. And um, yeah. <laughs> Guys, what do you think? Do you think we talk cold bullshit here? Is it, It's like not true. Do you have a different opinion? Or do you feel the same way? Let us know. And yeah, I hope I have more guests on my show. Um, Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's awesome talking with Alex always because he's a very smart skater. Aww. <laughs> and he thinks about a lot of things. I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> so guys, I hope you liked it. See you next Bye. time. Peace out.
Bye.